Okay, in this video I'll be answering a question that I've received from someone. Uh, part of the question is about the difference between the Course in Miracles prayers, Catholic prayers and positive thinking. Okay, so I'll start reading the question. I wanted to ask you what's the difference between practicing a Course in Miracles and positive thinking or traditional prayers? Well, uh, I would say that uh, Course in Miracles prayers are at a very high vibration, uh, at a higher vibration than traditional prayers from the Bible or traditional, most traditional Catholic prayers, because they aim at fully dissolving the ego. Like you know, you have prayers like "All my thoughts are meaningless," uh, which is at a very high level, and they're trying to aim at totally dissolving your thinking. Uh, so they're at a higher vibration, but then also. Uh, many of the Catholic prayers are also very good. Some of, some of them are better than others. I think one of the one of the best Catholic, uh, best uh, prayers uh, that's used uh, in Christianity is the Saint Francis prayer. Uh, Lord, make me instant of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. So that's a very good prayer. Uh, but the Course in Miracles are at a higher vibration. Positive thinking, well, of course, in miracles is invoking really a higher power or, or higher vibrations to intervene on your behalf. Catholic prayers, uh, church prayers are also intervene, asking for a higher power to intervene and add the positive energy uh, to help remove your ego and the blocks within your ego and the negativity that you hold. Uh, positive thinking, which is uh, which would be along the lines of a more atheistic, agnostic type, just be positive, for me would have the lowest uh, effectiveness and vibration because it's almost thinking that the ego or your own thinking and just being positive can create major results, which I think it wouldn't if you're suffering from serious uh, negativity. Okay, so continuing to read, I saw my family praying with traditional prayers. Uh, recitation of Catholic prayers, for example, and it confused me as I was seeing a mismatch between the intention to rely on a higher power, mainly to have favour, protection in this world, and feel for angry mindset. I think I was seeing my family praying in this way as being passive and not really changing. My grandma is now in her mid-90s, and she does not pray anymore like she used to. She has a lot of raging episodes she can be very angry and virulent. Would you say that the missing link in this kind of prayer, of this kind of prayer practice, is about not feeling the feelings? Well, I think with uh, some of the um, Christian denominations, there can be a reliance uh, on, or a heavy reliance, or a heavy effect of the Old Testament and the idea that God is punishing and is just waiting to sort of smite you down with uh, with punishment because you're being bad or sinning. And this can engender, if there's too much emphasis of this in churches, uh, fear of a judgmental punishing God. And therefore, uh, this fearful uh, nature and fear of punishment can start to happen and if this is part of the atmosphere of a church, then um, it can lead to the prayers being less effective because one is not really being inspired uh, to let go and to forgive, to connect to a loving God, which is unconditionally loving. So uh, in other places with A Course in Miracles or you know 12-step groups for addiction like Alcoholics Anonymous, uh, they put a lot of emphasis on, uh, you know, uh, that uh, or they tend to focus more on dismantling the ego or, or seeing God as being loving and just letting go of the ego as blocks to receiving God's unconditional love. Um, and some of the other teachings uh, and some of the denominations from the Bible can make it sound like God is just... Uh, someone waiting to punish you and engender his fear and this can lead to prayers being less effective because of this fear of a punishing judgmental God. 
other things that affect prayer is your intention. If you feel inspired by uh, the spiritual group you go to or the Course in Miracles or your spiritual teacher and you feel a lot of spiritual inspiration uh, and you trust the teachings or you trust the teachers or you, you see that they are a good example of what you want and that they've done the thing prayers and that they, they've realized um, higher states of consciousness and if you're inspired by this then you should have enthusiasm and a higher intention when praying and this will lead to the prayers being more effective than when you when you feel skeptical or you feel like uh, you don't trust the, the prayers uh, but this can sometimes not be because of the teachings or, or you know or, or that you feel that the people are getting a lot of benefit this can sometimes be your own inner uh, lack of trust in yourself again um, you, you can pray to release your lack of trust and skepticism in yourself and this will help um, the prayers but even praying prayers um, when you're skeptical they still do work but it will take and you can uh, they'll take it they may take longer but you can also pray to let go of your skepticism like I I place my skepticism and my doubts and my lack of faith into God's hands I pray for a miracle to see my doubt and skepticism differently so this will help you to release uh, that um, okay so you said uh, would you say that the missing link is the kind of proper is it about not feeling the feelings I think yeah I mean I think um, also just processing your feelings by feeling the feelings and doing prayers together will um, be a more powerful combination I some people can get into the trap maybe of uh, overly mentalizing things rather than you know getting their spirit and their intention and getting uh, enthusiastic and having a high intention around these prayers working for you so continuing to read, um, I guess it could be the same with the Course in Miracles. Students can get an intellectual knowledge knowing all the principles and yet it is, it is not really living. Yeah, I think I've answered this question. Um, I guess I still drag this confusion in practice of the course in um, practice of the course. As I told you in my first session, I sometimes feel that I sit on a volcano and I would use the ACM statements to cover it up. I was wondering what makes a prayer effective. I guess it has not really something to do with the words, but the level of consciousness of the individual. Well, there's a few factors. If you're at a higher level of consciousness, you've done more spiritual work, the prayers will be faster and more effective. But also just um, having an intention, uh, positive, you know, having a positive mindset or having faith that these prayers could work for your trusting a teacher or trusting others, um, who, who've, who share with you that they, it's worked for them and they've uh, benefited tremendously just having that faith, faith in others or faith in the prayers will help you but wherever you are even if you're feeling uh, skepti skepticism or lack of trust uh, I would still encourage you to do the prayers uh, every day and you will find eventually that they will work and you can contact me um, if you're getting any blocks around using uh, the Course in Miracles prayers. So just continuing to read, I am a nervous wreck. I can see that I would like to have a go with everything around me, my partner for watching too much TV, the neighbours for making too much noise in the stairs, the kettle. Sounds like to be unable to tune up to a higher frequency. Again I would use the, you know, use the prayers, feel the feelings around uh, what's irritating you, like your partner is irritating you. Pray for a miracle to see the irritation with my partner differently. I place my partner into God's hands. I could see peace instead of uh, my partner's capacity to irritate me. And you can do the same with the, the TV and the neighbors making a lot of noise. So continue to read. Um, I got back to my blood press. I, I got back to my blood pressure monitor. I started to feel frustra frustrated as I was seeing that the measures were high. I think I am in this building. I am trust. I am building up trust with my spiritual interests. And yes, I can get into doubt and impatience. It is if I also want to see some results in this physical world. 
yes, we did communicate about the blood pressure machine. Eventually, as you do the work, um, sit, feel the feelings, pray for a miracle to see things differently, use the Course of Miracles on various situations. You will, uh, I have experienced uh, reduction in blood pressure, uh, and you will as well. Just have faith and keep going with the spiritual work. As you release all these pent up feelings, these volcano feelings, by feeling them out and using the Course of Miracles exercises and continuing to do spiritual work, you will find that your blood pressure uh, should, uh, should reduce. So just ending here, I ended up <coughs> lying down and allowing myself to feel the feelings of rage. Yep, that's a good thing to do, so well done. So do keep in contact, and I'm wishing you miracles and, and release with this and peace.